Three essentially Q-tips I focus on when mixing. One, reduce before you add. Adding to a frequency can sound pleasing, but if you do it on everything, chances are you'll end up with a bloated, messy mix. Instead, focus on taking away frequencies that aren't important and don't need to be there. This will help prevent your sounds from clashing and lead to a cleaner sounding final. Two, exaggerate your decisions to start. When I first make an EQ decision, I pull the gain drastically to the direction I plan to head in. For example, if I plan to reduce the presence of a frequency, instead of starting at zero and bringing the gain down, I'll start by bringing it down to 10 dB immediately and then increase the gain towards zero from there. I find exaggerating the start in this way helps me find the sweet spot and leads to better EQ decisions. And three, use the right Q. A good general rule to follow is when boosting, apply a wider Q, which will affect a broader spectrum of frequencies and sound more musical. Opposite of that, use a narrow Q when cutting. This will keep your reduction focused on a more limited number of frequencies and generally sound more transparent. Subscribe for more mixing tips so you can learn things like